What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back, and we are back on the Tamer today. Um, we'll be back to Bless tomorrow, but uh, I'm feeling BDO, so I wanted to play Tamer. So we're gonna have this episode as Tamer. Still kind of working on the audio. I don't know what happened with OBS. It's a little bit like messed up for the audio for BDO. It's a little quieter than I remember it, so I'm still kind of working through that to get it back to a usable point. I, I think I'm going to turn it up just a little bit, and then we'll see how this episode goes. Um, I think I up, or downloaded some new settings for OBS, and I think that might have. So if anybody ever wanted to see what my settings are for recording BDO, this is what they were at. I'm going to tick them up to 30, 25, and 35 for now. Uh, and so we'll see how that goes for this episode. It was still quiet in my last video, so I'm expecting it to still be quiet here. But we are at the mines killing the imps like I said we would in this episode. We have hit level 18. About to hit level 19 here soon. I do want to kill some of these guys. I got some helpful tips from a viewer in the comment section. Thank you. Always appreciate anything that you guys can tell me about this game. Um... Because I still consider myself not, you know, not the greatest player at this. I know what I'm doing at this point, but still not very good. I don't know, not very good at the game, I guess. I don't know how to phrase it, but yeah. Always appreciate you guys taking your times to write me a comment and let me know uh, anything that I should know. There's some different skills uh, that help um, the tamer get around and movement-wise and whatnot as well as combat skills that I need to be looking out for. So as soon as we hit like level 40 and I start doing, start messing with my, um, as soon as I start messing with my skills a little bit more, I will definitely be looking for those skills and to get those incorporated into, into a rotation for Tamer. Right now, with no skills activated, I really think Tamer might have Eclipse Archer as my second favorite class. I really need to play a Ranger on Xbox. That's probably in our near future is me playing Ranger. Because I need to see about how much I like that Awakened. I need to see how much I like Ranger Awakened. Like, I don't like Ranger pre-Awakening. I just don't think it does enough damage. It's just not my favorite thing. But I'm thinking maybe when I get her awakened, it might actually be something that I really like. But we'll have to see when we get there. So, uh, advance complete. I don't know. We'll grab that and see. Uh, reinforce the quarry. So, yeah, we already completed that quest. So, we can grab our rewards for that. That must be one of those new quests they added uh, for newer players. But, obviously, I have already discovered Balanos, so can easily complete that quest. Okay, so we made our repairs to the quarry. We need to head back. This is going to be a real quick section here. I'm going to get to, on our way back here, I'm going to try to get to 19. I think that's the goal, 19. And the real reason why I'm, like, doing this the way I'm doing this and not having, um, not doing any skills until 40 is just that we're pretty overpowered anyway because I have this Black Abyssal weapon, which I guess I should go over. If you guys did not see the last episode of my Sork, which came out yesterday, you can see that I got the Black Abyssal weapons over there, or, or on the, in that episode I did the Black Abyssal quest, and we got it, and I put it on this character because I don't need it on my Sork because I have Kazarka on my Sork, so obviously... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Obviously, we don't need it because I have I have Kazarka. So I put it on this. I have Tri Kazarka on my Sork. So yeah, if you did not see that video and you're interested about the Black Abyssal weapon and just the quest in general, I don't know if you haven't done it yet or anything like that, or if you just want to watch me do it, check out yesterday's Sork video. That's what I did there. It was a really fun quest. I really did. I thoroughly enjoyed that quest. But I think we're going to go up here, we're going to turn this in, and then we'll have to cut ahead to the next interesting section. Because then we go to the town, and I believe we're deep di it's deep dialogue time. I don't think anything too much. Also, I guess since you guys have probably noticed by now, but I didn't go over it, we did pick up that uh, outfit that I liked. Uh, reminds me of like a Greek 
goddess type um, outfit and I like Greek mythology so that's really why I picked this up but point is is we did pick that up as well since the last episode uh, since I like this character and we're going to be playing on it I might as well you know make it look nice so yeah we're going to go into Hydel. I'm going to take care of all this I'll see you guys at the farm in just a few moments all right so we have arrived at Zara Lynch farm and it's time to clean up more imps this is just the imp episode pretty much I don't know why I'm fighting these ones. You can go up here. Actually, this isn't even the good cluster either. I want to let these pigs out because it's kind of one of the harder things to do. But the best area actually is like this area over here that has like five bajillion imps in it. There is not quite anything better than this area here. This is actually one of the... It, I don't really... Be, I don't know. Believe is not really what I want out of this. But I don't really think that farming in the beginning of the game really means a whole lot. I mean, it it may shave a little bit of your time off later in the game. But it doesn't shave all that much off. But if you do want to farm early in the game, with that being said, this is not a bad spot. Because there's just a lot of enemies what is my character doing? There we go. I don't know why. It wasn't letting me just straight attack. It was being weird. There we go. Still trying to get some of these combos down. But overall, overall, I think I, I, I like the character. It's just going to take a little bit. I'm trying to do like some button combos that are on my Sork, and it's just messing me up. Because I'm used to, obviously... At this point, I'm so used to Sork that it's kind of insane. I'm so used to Sork, it's... It takes me a little bit longer than it probably should to get used to different characters. Grab that. And we need to defeat 20 more Altar Imps. Let's try to kite them up here a little bit. And, of course, that guy jumps right by me. But yeah, you can see out here, it's just such a great area. I don't really advocate. I would never suggest farming early in the game, but man, it's, it's, it's not bad. Okay, I think I unlocked the command to, or the skill to summon that beast. I think that's what I saw at the top of my screen. So I want to take a look at that. I know I said I didn't want to delve too deep into skills until 40, but that's a skill that I want to take a look at. I'm gonna get up on this rock. Hopefully it'll be... Okay, can I not grab onto... The... Oh my gosh, it won't let me grab onto the edge of this rock. Okay, well... There's a... Is that a boss enemy that I just saw? No. Oh, actually it is, over here. Right here, a violent altar fighter. Might as well take the free 20k for killing him. I'm trying to get a little bit of separation, but there's so many enemies here. That really didn't hit him. Okay. If I kill you... Okay, we're good. Let's take a look at that skill. Because... It's one that I want to look at. So... Um... Do I already have it? Does it just give it to me? Fortune's Blessing... Summon Hailing. Okay, so this can be added to the skill wheel. So I'm going to make it right on the D-pad. So let's go to the ring menu. Right on the D-pad. And flip it over there. Um, what? Oh, there he is. Okay, how does this work? Do I have to... Do I have to actually command him to attack? Hold up. Hold up. Back to the skills. So, Hailing Whiplash. Hailing. Really, buddy? Okay. Can we all just chill for one second so I can look at my skills? 
Okay, so we got Hailing Witch Lap, Hailing Lightning of Earth, Hailing Upper Claw, Hailing Scratch, Hailing Roaring. So, wait. While riding Hailing LTA. Okay, how many skill points? Do I have enough skill points? To, uh, I don't think I do. I'm gonna try to grab all these hailing. Really? Can you chill? And of course you had to see me. Get out of here. Okay, we're just gonna grab them quick. We, we already went over them. We know what we're grabbing. Just grab them. And I did have enough. Okay, how do I mount? Or how do I get on his back? Because like, that's cool and all. But I have to actually be. Uh, let's see here. There's got to be. There's got to be a skill for hopping on his back. Has to be. Um. Legendary beast power. Strength kick. I can absorb him. Command attack. Command stay. So I have to actually add those to my wheel. Hailing Throat Burn. I don't see, like, Hailing Mount. Okay, well, while I pulled this up, I'm gonna do that. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, what's... What, uh... Hmm. I guess we need to add more skills to the over. Command attack, command follow, command sit. Hailing whiplash. We have all the hailing stuff. Legendary beast power. So we want... Let's see here. Will he just go attack something for me? <laughs> will he... Mm, yeah, he will. He will just... Okay. Okay. Okay, so when I get into an actual altercation, he will be helpful. Okay, so that, okay, okay. That makes sense. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. A boss appeared from the Dark Rift. I actually might be able to handle this. Not, not gonna lie. Just because of the fact that I have this OP Black Abyssal weapon. I probably can't get hit, but... Okay, I'm totally not used to that. So let's spawn him up again. Attack. Okay, you hit really hard. But I... Oh my gosh, you hit kind of hard. Okay, I don't do any... Da I don't, well, I can't tell. can't tell if I don't do any... Da oh my gosh. Okay, run away, run away. Oh my gosh, you hit so hard. Oh my gosh, you hit so hard. Okay, I, I don't, I don't in fact think, don't think I'm prepared for this like I thought I was. Save me, friend! I thought I could take it because I have the Black Abyssal weapon, but boy was I wrong. Am I like poisoned or something? Is that what's happening right now? I guess, well, uh, I'm good. I don't know what level this red nose is, but my attacks are definitely not strong enough. Yeah, I can't even like see my damage. Okay, we're out, we're out, we're out, I tried. I tried, we're not strong enough, I tried. I thought that maybe with the Black Abyssal weapon I could smack him. But that's just not true. I, I guess my skills aren't good enough to do it. So that that's all right. That's all right. My defense is obviously not even good enough to. Uh, I get like poisoned or something, or like cursed when I fight when I fight him. So that that doesn't help either. Make sure I get my health all topped up. 
and this old good section. Okay, so I gotta climb to the top, and then we gotta run over to the next area. So I'm gonna save you guys watching me climb to the top here. So I'll see you guys in a second in the next area, because, yeah, this is just... I don't think anybody wants to see me. Why is it not letting me grab the edge here? There we go. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so it's boss time. Time to two or three shot dastard beg here. Um, I'm hoping, hoping we won't take too many episodes to get where I'm going here. Obviously, I want to get to, I want to get to the 40s area so that we can have, you know, a little bit more of a challenge. Oh, look, dastard beg actually gonna present a little bit of a problem. Get up, hurry up, hurry up before he does that attack again. Really? I, oh my gosh, I got a one shot. Oh my gosh, please get up and... Oh my... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, really? I got him... Oh my gosh, I got him one shot and then I couldn't finish off the kill. That would have been... That would have been one of the most pathetic deaths I've ever had in this game. Okay. Biggest trouble to the north is that... Yeah, it's all three so I don't want to do that. We want to just get on our way to permanent the permanent token. So we need to go back and do all the Zara Lynch stuff. I don't actually know what the next thing that uh, you guys will see will be. Because um, it's going to be a little bit of a cut ahead. I don't quite remember what is next. That involves actual combat and not me reading dialogue. So I'll see you guys in a second with whatever's next. Alright, so I went the kill quest route, and that's what we're going to be doing now. So, this little area is actually nice if you never saw the noobs guide. I kind of went over this area because there's like a bunch of different side quests that you can do here, which is really nice. Um, both just a little bit of experience, and on top of that, you can get gold bars. It's just a really nice area. Provides you with a lot of side quests. Obviously... The main stuff is the Alrundi stuff, but overall, being able to do this is, um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Being able to kill all of these things around here, it's really easy, really quick, um, and it, it completes like five, six quests. There's a bunch of quests here. It's, it's really good. Really love it here. I guess I didn't do what I needed to do here. I needed to talk to somebody about Alrundi. Let me do that. Who did I? Oh, no, wait, wait. And my character is stuck. Okay, I guess I just needed to come here and talk to her. But while we're here, before we leave to go over there to talk to them about Alrundi and get our next kill quest, I do want to complete this here with these. You don't ever do anything too much at this, at Moretti Plantation, which I'm kind of surprised about. It's a pretty decent location that I thought they could have done more with. But a lot of these early areas, they are mostly just there for map size and diversity. They're not always there for usefulness. There's a lot of areas that are never really that worth it. I might do an episode here, maybe the next episode. I might just skip ahead a little bit just to try to get us out of the doldrums of the very beginning of the game. Try to get me towards level 40. I would assume, depending on how long stuff is gonna take me, I should be able to hit level 40 if I did it. If I did every episode like this, I should be able to hit it by the time I. Not this episode, not after the next episode, but after the episode after that. I think that's when we would hit 40. That's really when kind of the mid game picks up, and the mid game is a lot more fun, got a lot more stuff to do fight a little bit more difficult enemies it's just a much better time i think i completed everything so let's go back to the plantation turn these quests in and we'll get on to our next kill quest so haynes here has some quests that we get from him we can turn in and then uh moretti herself has a bunch of quests that we can turn in Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go ask about Alrundi. Uh, I'll save you guys watching that, and I will catch you guys in just a moment. 
All right, so dialogue out of the way. We can go ahead and fight rebels now. We're past the imps and past the scarecrows, and we're on to the rebels. So this will probably be the last thing that I do for this episode is slaughter these rebels. And we actually do a point where we're not one-shotting stuff anymore. And no, that guy was just, for some reason, a little bit tougher than the other guys. This area is really tough to do what you need to do. Um... If there are other people here, there's just not a lot of... I really, what I should do is go up to the main tower area, or the main castle area. Because that just has a lot more enemies there. A little bit easier, so I'm going to work my way towards that. Let's actually get there. We need to destroy flags and stuff like that, so we got to work towards that anyway. Uh, we got to destroy barricades and flags. There should be a cluster of barricades over here somewhere. Actually wasn't even fully paying attention to what I needed to get done here. So let's get what... Let's get this stuff done first. Because then we get to the kill quest. Alright, there's another flag here. I need three more barricades and two more flags. There's a flag... Couple of chargers as well. There's our barricade. There's the barricade thing I was looking for. This is. I knew there was a spot where there's just a bunch of barricades right next to each other. Okay, I need one flag. One flag. Here we go, right in front of me. Destroy this flag. And this should allow us to get to the next quest, which I believe is an actual kill quest. Ye no, wait, this is watchtowers, barracks, and supplies. So, nope, not a kill quest yet. But up here should be the barracks and the supplies that we need to kill. There's one barracks, two barracks. I don't know why... Sometimes I don't know why my character, like, gets the input. Like, I did not... I was trying to do this attack right here. That attack right there. That's the attack I was trying to do when the game was having me hop around. I never quite know what the game is doing. Sometimes it just, like, does the opposite of what I want it to do. There we go. You up. And, okay, so we need... Two more watchtowers, two more supplies, and one more barracks. Can't destroy that barracks. And that's why I wanted to do that attack. Because when you have a bunch of guys clustered up, that attack is really good. And it's something different than me doing this every time. They don't want to do. I want to get out of the habit of spamming the same attacks. Because as much fun as doing some attacks are, it's a little lame to do the same attack every time. Let's be honest. Okay, so I need two more watchtowers. There's this watchtower, and there's the watchtower in the distance that I see. I gotta make sure I actually complete this. I think there's another quest after this for kills anyway. So I don't think that's... I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but I can't quite remember. I just remember this being more annoying than it has been so far. All right, Archer, go away. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Okay. So now we just need to kill 55 Alrundi bandits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the castle so that we can get a little bit more clustered mob killing going on because I like it up there a little bit more. So we're going to head up here, just get some extra experience, and we'll get to 23... And then I don't know if I have to go back and turn this quest in before it'll let me go kill Alrundi, but if it doesn't, big W, because we'll already be here where Alrundi is. Turn around and kill him. There is 23. The progression at the beginning of the game, I just like feeling like I'm accomplishing something. And that's what you get at the beginning of the game, because you level up so freaking much. Okay, so we need eight more wizards. So I got, okay, here's a wizard here. Okay, so we need, out of the next 33 kills that we get, and there's the wizard that I needed. I was going to say, out of the next 33 kills we get, we need one wizard. 
I don't know. I like that attack, but the more I use it and the higher difficulty of enemies that we're getting to, the less that skill is more vi is viable. It was really viable early because it would one-shot stuff, but now it doesn't really one-shot stuff. So I don't even... I don't, I don't... I don't know how viable it is overall. It's good, not great. Like, if I kite these guys up here, this skill is by far better. Well, that's not the skill I wanted it to use. Why is it not... Let me use the skill that... Why? Why are you doing that skill? There we go. I don't know why. I guess I have to hold forward to do that skill. Okay, so I'll kite some more guys up and I'll show you again. Okay, come here, everybody. Come over here. You, come here. Okay. So this skill right here. That skill is much better at crowd control than the other one is. So I'm not really sure that the other one is better. I mean, I like it more. It's cooler. But I don't think it's as useful. And so I just don't really see the point in using it, I guess. There's just not really a point to using it, in my opinion. So, I'll probably mix it in because, to me, I care more about... What am I doing? Stop crouching. Okay, what is it autopathing me here? Stop it. Stop it, game. Autopath me back. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second. We should be fighting Alrundi um, after this cut. Alright guys, let's wrap this episode up with a little Alrundi boss fight. So what do we clean up? Two bosses in this episode, Begs and uh, Alrundi. Alrundi, one of my one of my favorite like beginning boss fights in this game. Obviously there's later ones that are much cooler that I like, but I do really like his boss fight here. Okay, stop hopping around. What are you doing? I need to control that better because I do a lot of hops and it's really, really not conducive to anything. And I'm, you know what I'm not doing? I'm not summoning my little buddy here. Did I summon him? Yeah, look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. We just wrecked. Yo, my little buddy is just OP. I got to remember that I have him. It's like really awesome. I really, really love the, the dog or whatever it is. The beast. I'll call it a beast. It, it's a wolf dog hybrid thing with red eyes. It's like a demon dog. But point is, is it's really cool. I really like it. And I gotta remember I have it because I keep forgetting because I'm not used to it. So I do need to remember that. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Kind of a quick episode here. Uh, well, not a quick episode. This is about average length of time. But yeah, um, kind of a a lot of cuts and uh, we got we got a lot done in this episode we're progressing we'll get to where we'll get to the more fun parts i think this will be really fun to grind with later on like farming around like uh i don't even know what beshims with this giant uh beast with me like double teaming areas and stuff like that i, I think it's gonna be pretty cool i think it's gonna be really fun to farm with this character it's one of the main reasons that I'm, like, thinking that it might actually enter into, like, the realm of being, like, a second option or something like that behind my Sork is because of the of the beast. I, he's just really cool. I think he'll fit really well, and it'll be a nice kind of swapped playstyle off of my Sork. And so hopefully that's, hopefully I'm right, and hopefully I'll really enjoy this character, but we'll see. I'll stop babbling on as I do at the end of every video. You guys know, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give will be there to guide you in every way. Now we've been through the cold and darkest day. The summer's cold.